Good morning! Uh, it's Heather at the Pendleton Public Library, and I am showing you the second part of The Mend for this book. Uh, using drugstore or grocery store supplies that you may have at home, or uh, at least are not specialty things that you have to order, you could run in at Rite Aid and get these, like I did. We uh, last week had glued the cover back on to the block of this book. This is the cover, this is the block, all the pages, and uh, this is how it came out. We were using a gel super glue. I don't want to advertise any kind of product for anyone, but a gel super glue that is available at drugstores. I was worried it might be too crispy, uh, it might stick the pages together, it might soak through and stick the pages together inside the block, but it hasn't done that. It did, however, not get squeezed together tightly enough uh, at the back, so this part was still loose when I checked it. So I have reapplied glue and I have put back my greaseproof paper to keep it from soaking out onto the cover and I'm going to prepare a reinforcement strip to go into the hinge right here. And I do that with a piece of tissue paper. Tissue paper will get crispy in ways... Um, when I say crispy, I mean I don't want it to be hard and brittle and break with use, which is what crispy papers do. Uh, this one I think will be alright. Uh, we're just doing a reinforcement with it. We're not uh, depending on it to hold the book together entirely. It's just a little extra, which I think uh, with this book that is under heavy use will be beneficial. So, with my piece of tissue paper, I'm going to have it be about two inches wide. And I use a crease in the paper that is already there and I put it in the hinge. And I measure the length that I want from the top of the book to the foot of the book by rubbing a crease into the paper as long as I want it. And then I cut out that piece. Just a little strip with a fold in the middle. And I just took a shortcut. You can measure out a two inch by however long this book is, like 11 inches. We usually measure it in centimeters in the library, but uh, it's not necessary. You just want a piece that works. You don't have to take a lot of extra steps with measuring and marking and cutting. And it will be this kind of reinforcement. I am going to apply a great deal of my gel super glue to the side of the paper that's going to go against the book. gel that doesn't really soak through. With a foam paintbrush. I'm going to work quickly but thoroughly. And if I feel like I need more glue, I am not going to hesitate to use it because I liked how it didn't soak through.
regular super glue soaks through paper sometimes and sticks things together that you didn't want stuck together. There, that's all gluey and good. And I'm going to put it on our piece of protection paper. The paper that was keeping it from leaking onto the book before. I'm going to use it as a tool to get it right in where I want it. Right in there. Flatten it down well. Stick your wax paper in there. Flatten it down well. put on your bands. This time I'm going to run the bands down the spine. Be sure that is fitted well in. Later when this is dry on the back I will do a reinforcement paper just the same. And then our final mend will be to put some um, heavy tape. This is plastic shipping tape. It's very similar to what we use for book tape at the library. Uh, down the spine of the book because it is uh, no longer waterproof or weatherproof right there. And that will fix this book up for use.